the biggest mistake that people make when they want to start a business is that they have made up their mind about what the business is about, what the product is about, and then they focus on building that product. Then only when they have built the product, they now start thinking, ah, where will I sell this? Who will I sell it to? Who will buy it? If you are a business owner, I want you to watch this video to the end. This is very, very helpful. Let me play it now. The biggest mistake that people make when they want to start a business is that they have made up their mind about what the business is about, what the product is about, and then they focus on building that product. Then only when they have built the product, they now start thinking, ah, where will I sell this? Who will I sell it to? Who will buy it? So it's like you're wearing the back of your clothes. You have to think of who before you think of what. Because the way your business will make money is that some human beings will give you money. And those human beings have to have a strong reason to part with their money. So the first question is, will anyone buy? Not what will I sell? Not what is moving? Not uh, what is booming? What? No, no, that's the wrong question. The, the right question is, will anyone buy? So but how do I know if anyone will buy? So that, that, now, that, now, that now puts us in a very interesting um, category of who do I want to sell to? Which is a very fundamental question. See, all of us in this country are Nigerians, but socioeconomically, we are very different. Think of one product that you think everybody will buy. If I ask you, say everybody will buy. Uh, water. Uh, water. Good. Yes, sachet Thank you water. very much. Sachet water. Yes. The truth is, everybody does not buy sachet water. You okay, and okay, I know people. Bottle water. No, 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 no. We started from water. Okay, everybody needs be... water. Yes. That one is granted. Yes. As human beings, you need water to, uh, to hydrate and all that. Yes. So you might say, I'm going to sell water. After all, everybody buys water. But the question is, if you ask yourself, will anyone buy? You know you cannot just sell water. You can't just go and fetch water in a bucket and go and be selling it. No. You will sell it in a particular format. Yes. And right now in Nigeria, we have different formats. You have the pure water. No, let's start from ice water. You know, in the rural area, there are people that tie water in nylon. In fact, before that, in the places in Nigeria where the water corporation still works. It's in cups. Uh, no, water corporation will pipe water to your house. It still works in some parts of, of the country. Yeah. Then you have ice water, the one they put inside nylon and tie. Then you have pure water. Then you have bottled water, different categories. Then you have dispenser water. I can keep going. You have tanker water. You know people in some parts of Lekki that have bad water. They, have, they buy water in tanks and they come and fill up their tank. Yeah. Then you can do borehole and water plant and all of that now. Mm. You see the way I've broken this down now? Yeah. There are people I know that will never drink pure water. And the reason is this. They've had episodes of maybe typhoid or some scare, some waterborne disease scare or whatever. And in their mind, they have this feeling that pure water is not hygienic. They have this feeling that pure water always has taste. They have this feeling that almost everybody is doing pure water, so the quality is not guaranteed. So it's not as if they have so much money, but because of their health and their preference for, for quality, they will never buy pure water. There are people who only buy bottled water, and there are people who will never buy bottled water because they don't see the point of bottled water. Why would I buy bottled water for 100 or 150 when I can buy pure water for 10 or 20 naira? So, you see, when you ask yourself who will buy, you start to see that that thing you want to sell is not one product. It is determined by the person that will buy it. And when you know who, who would, when you think this way, you solve several questions at the same time. If you know who will buy, all of a sudden, you started thinking very early about your marketing. Because if you know who will buy, you now start to know the kind of message, the kind of value that they respond to. If I'm selling pure water, I'll be thinking, in, I'll, be, I'll be talking in terms of price, Af uh, affordability. I will talk a bit about quality. You know, that, that sort of thing. Uh -huh. There are even people that even said they are say, uh, other people, the 50 CL, only 75 CL. There's a, there's a part of the market that responds to that kind of thing. When you come to the bottled water, all of them are not the same. The um, top drink companies, if you have, no, we cannot mention names yet, but I think our, our audience will benefit from this. I need to mention names. Mm. Uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Yeah. They are known for sugary drinks. But they are the biggest players in the bottled water segment in Nigeria. Coca-Cola owns Eva. Pepsi owns Aquafina. And if you want to buy water, apart from that, there's Nestle water. Because for me, when I enter a supermarket, I'm like, who will buy this uh, bottled water? That is much more expensive than the other ones. The truth is that there's a market for it. People that are looking for hygiene, they don't, as in sanitary standards, very important. So any product you want to sell, there is a particular segment of the market that will respond to it. So your thinking should start from who will buy. Wow, this is awesome. I hope you learned a lot from this. 
if you are a business owner and you are thinking of a product to sell think of the people that will buy it and the quality that you want to produce like i always tell my students that if you want to get high quality customers or clients what you need to do is produce high quality products or services and increase the price because rich people are not after the price they are after class they buy class the quality should be world class should be the best and then the price should be high enough if the price is too low they will think that mm, probably the quality is not the best because if it is the best it will not be the cheapest and if it is the cheapest nobody will believe that it is the best so the price has to match the quality increase the quality then increase the price to match it that is when you will attract high paying clients and customers if it is a substandard quality there are category of people that will buy it and if it is world class quality there are also people that will buy it but in most of the cases the price is always proportional to the quality of the product you have if your product is of higher quality then you get high caliber of people to buy that products or services now the last question i will ask you is your product what is the quality the quality of that product you are selling is what is determining the people the kind of people that are buying that product and it will also ultimately determine the kind of sales that you make from that product so if you can increase the quality you will see that the quality of clients or customer that you will get will also increase and of course when you have good customers and clients they will be ready to pay better than if you are selling substandard quality so i encourage you guys to always sell high quality products and services so that you can get high quality clients and customers if you want to learn more i recommend that you get my book i'm going to leave the link to where you can get that book you get full detail in the description of this video thank you for watching this video share this video with all your friends and your loved ones so that they too can benefit from it see you in the next video bye